Hello everyone and welcome to the first episode of Let's Build a Game Show Game. I'm Avondale and I'm excited to be working along with the other Knox Crew builders to build a game that you choose the direction of. You'll need to vote or provide input on each episode, so don't forget to leave your comment below so you can help us make the game. The first thing we need to do is decide what type of game we want to build. We can loosely categorize every game show game into three categories. PvP, Puzzle, and Parkour. So today, we need you to vote on which of those you'd like this game to be. I'll talk a little more about the different categories and how they can be adapted into game show games. PvP stands for Player vs. Player, or a game type where the teams fight against each other in armed combat. Many game show games include PvP aspects, but some are straight up deathmatches. Castle and Factory, for example, saw the teams fighting to kill the other team before they died themselves. Other examples of PvP games are Lockdown, Mayan Hunt, Shoot 'em Up, and Dom Mine Nation, just to name a few. Puzzle games are based around teams completing an objective, be it reaching a destination, or gathering an item, or some other thing, while facing various obstacles. Sands of Time saw our teams trying to collect the most diamonds in an elaborate temple before their hourglass emptied. Other examples of puzzle games are Pyramid, Space Race, Gridlock, Meltdown, and Mansion. Parkour games are based almost entirely on the player's ability to fluently move their character through the world of Minecraft. In Sprint, the teams compete head-to-head -head on mirrored courses to see which team can reach the finish line first. Other examples of parkour games are Picture Panic, Python's Crypt, Bath Time, and Lunchtime. As you probably noticed, many of our games have elements from multiple categories. However, the gameplay is always based most importantly around one of those game categories. Leave a comment below with either PvP, Puzzle, or Parkour, and we'll count your vote and then get to work. Votes will be counted 24 hours after this video goes live. Stay tuned until next time when we'll reveal the results of the poll from this episode and start work on our first community-driven game show game. I've been Avondale. Thanks for watching.